In this video, we're going to go over how to create a simple monthly uh, sales projection on Excel. So in the end, this is what we're going to try to build. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start and open up a new tab. And the first thing you want to do is you want to start off by labeling the columns by typing in the month. And in the second month, you're going to go ahead and type in uh, sales projections or projected sales. All right, now that we have that, the next thing you want to do is you want to type in the months. So we're going to go ahead and type in January uh, and we're going to use the abbreviation. Now, in this point, we want to make sure that we have Excel do all the work. So we're going to go ahead and click this black cross on the bottom right hand side of the cell. And if I click and drag down, I should be able to have Excel input all the months for the rest of the year. OK, the next thing I want to do is type in the number amount of cells for the month of January. So let's say we sold $50,000 and our projected sales for the month of February will be 50,000 times the number amount that you expect sales to grow. So let's say, for example, we're going to go ahead and click equals. Let's say we want to project 50,000 times a 3% increase. So we're going to go ahead and multiply that by 100 and 3.5% increase and we get a total amount of 51,750. All right, now simply what I can do is select the cell, click the bottom right black cross and, and Excel is gonna basically calculate a 3% and 3.5% uh, increase month after month, as you see there, all right? So now what I want to do is I basically want to create uh, I, I basically want to create a table. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I select my revenue amounts. And I want to convert into a currency format. So you can simply go ahead and click this general uh, box here and click the down arrow and you can select currency format. And I also want to decrease uh, to the number so that I don't have any decimals and that will give me a nice clean format. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to create a table. So simply what you're going to do is you're going to select any cell um, that is in A1 to B13. So I can click any cell here and I'm going to go to the insert tab and I basically just want to select the table. It's going to select the cells, uh, cell ranges, and I basically just want to click OK. And that's going to give me uh, a table. And if you wanted to change the style, you can use this conceptual tab here and you can pretty much select a uh, different color. And Excel gives you a, a good amount of options that you can select from. So we're going to go ahead and click this one here. All right. So now that we have our month, our projected sales. Uh, this gives us a good amount. Uh, it gives us a nice appearance to our table here. And let's say you want to find out your total annual sales. Um, simply, what you can do here is you can pretty much right-click any cell in the table. And if you scroll down to table, uh, you can select total rows. It's going to go ahead and give you the total amount of sales for the entire year. Now let's say you want to convert into average. You can click the down drop er box arrow and you can click average and it'll give you the average sales of each month. All right, so let's go ahead and change it back to total. Now it's time to create a chart that's gonna basically resemble uh, this data here and give us a better idea of, of how our sales increase throughout the year. So again, I can click any cell within the data range and I basically want to go to the insert tab one more time and I'm going to go ahead and click Excel's recommended charts. And Excel will give you 
uh, a couple different options that you can choose from. And so basically for a simple monthly forecast, uh, I like to choose the cluttered column chart. And this is gives me a really nice and simple chart uh, that represents the data uh, of the yearly sales projection. Uh, and you can do the same thing with the conceptual tab and, and, and choose different styles uh, of the chart. But we're going to go ahead and click that one. And that's how you create a simple monthly forecast. Um, now, once you're ready to, to print, uh, you want to go ahead and click the View tab. And you want to see how it's going to look on paper. So you're going to click the page layout, and it'll show you how it looks. And so you see here that the chart is out of range. So you want you can pretty much just move the chart into the range. Uh, you can also uh, decrease the size of the chart to, to make it fit on paper. And that's basically how it's going to look on your, uh, your, your paper once you print it out. You can even add a title if you wanted to. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Uh, so let's say I'm ready to print out. I'm going to go to the Home tab, or I'm actually going to go to the File tab. And I'm going to click Print. And I should get sort of a visual of my chart and my data. And then I'm simply going to go ahead and click Print. All right. Now, once you print, let's say you want to save your monthly forecast, simply go up to the file tab again, uh, save as, and then you'll save as monthly sales projection for 2019, and then save. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and please, I would appreciate a like, and if you have any questions or comments on videos you would like to see on Excel tutorials, feel free to leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.